Hello, my name's Theo. Welcome to the one-on-one -on -one program. Today we're going to be learning about a movement called the snatch. Again, for the snatch, we're going to need a stick and potentially depending on your flexibility, you might want a chair or a stool as well, just to help out. So the snatch is a different movement from what we've learned so far. The grip is much different from the usual. So for the snatch, we want a really wide grip, as wide as is comfortable. You can see I'm almost at the end of the stick in terms of my grip. Now, why do I want that? Because I'm gonna bring that stick up over my head as part of the movement. So we want that nice wide position, nice wide movement. Again, feet stay about shoulder width apart. We're staying nice and relaxed, nice and comfortable. Most of the movement, again, comes from our upper body, but there's a lot of dynamic movement that comes from it. So I'll run through slowly the first set of five, and you can do that with me. So starting position, nice wide grip, nice long straight arms. Before we start, we start to crutch down a little bit. So a little bit of bend in the knees, a little bit of bend in your hips. Once we're at that point, we're ready to start the snatch. To do the snatch, we're basically gonna stand up, bring that stick up and above our head. And that's our first one. So I'll reset, bring that back down for number two. Knees a little bit bent, hips a little bit bent, leaning a little bit forward. Then as we stand up straight, knees, hips, Stick comes up and we've done our snatch. All right, now we'll reset for number three. Starting position, ready, stand up tall, stick comes up. All right, number four, stand up tall, bring that stick up. And last rep, back to starting position, stand up tall, Finish with your arms up. Good. So that's our first set of five. The snatch is a really important movement because it trains so many of our, our athletic components. Speed, power, balance, control. There's a lot that comes into a snatch once we start to do it on a regular basis and we get comfortable with that movement. So from a falls prevention perspective, from a strength perspective, there's a lot of benefit to it. So that's why I teach it and that's why it's important. All right, let's look at the set two. I'll come from the side this time. Again, nice wide grip. We'll get into our starting position. As you can see, a little bit of knee bend, a little bit of hip bend, and we're leaning forward. Once we're ready, time to stand up tall. And reset. Number three. And last one. Good, that's five. Now, if that feels a little bit unsteady or you feel like your balance isn't quite right as you're doing that from that crouching position to standing up, grab yourself a chair, grab yourself a stool. So what we want is to have that as our base of support and that's where we'll start. So rather than standing in this crouch, we're actually gonna start on the chair. So again, starting on the chair, nice wide grip, and then as we stand up, we've got that extra leg drive to bring us up. All right, let's have another go at round set two. And up. Good. Okay, number three. Get yourself ready, and up. And back down. And up. Good. And last one. And go. Good. Okay. Now, I'll do that from the side as well, just so you can see what that looks like. Okay. Same story but from the side this time. And go. And number two, go. And go. And go. 
And last one. Stand nice and tall. Good. Okay, so that's four sets we've done. I'll take the chair out of the way. And we'll finish off just with a three quarter view. So again, starting position, if we're not using a chair, we're down in that crouch, knee bend and hip bend, otherwise you're using the chair for the starting spot. And last one. Good, well done. You've just done your five by five of snatches for Fit Med Pulse.